Hey guys, Prime Guy98 again, bringing you another LEGO review. Today we're gonna take a look at my most biggest creation, LEGO Transformers G1 Optimus Prime. So this is my Optimus Prime, my G1 LEGO version. And this thing is absolutely incredible it was really cool to create really cool to just come up with the way he transformed i mean if you know me i mean i i think i never told but when it comes to making an optimus prime i always had trouble making him somehow his transformation is so compact and but simple at the same time, it's sometimes impossible to do. The legs are no problem. The arms is always the thing that gets me when it comes to making an, uh, an Optimus Prime. Because I simply cannot figure out how to do it properly without ruining the proportions. Now, he comes with uh, two accessories, one of which is his famous blaster. So that's pretty cool, it doesn't store anywhere. And he comes with a backpack piece to fill in his back, otherwise it's really empty. Now, speaking of this guy, he doesn't have any arms. Yeah, I, uh, because of the way uh, the arms would, uh, would connect to the front here, I do not have, this guy doesn't have any arms. Uh, which means, he's kind of, he, he looks kind of odd that way, but it's not that bad actually. Uh, because, um, you know, um, because you'll get used to it, actually. Because I got used to it, so yeah. Take a look at the details, you get some tail lights, um, here's some headlights, the, uh, some turn signals, some headlights, the, these could be headlights, and some top headlights. Get the smokestacks, these could be like a secondary window. Oh, and on the inside, let's see, you need to remove this, 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 get this back in. Come on, get up there, there we go. If you look closely... He's got the Matrix of Leadership inside. Little teeny tiny Matrix. Yeah, that's what he has too. So, getting this thing back together, there, and there, and get this thing back up, and there, there we go. Now, that is truck mode. So yeah, this guy looks uh, incredibly great. Um, so without further ado, I think it's time to get to transformation. So, to transform optimal, whoa. I just got scared. Look, hold on. Look what's just landed on my collection. That's a big ass moth. Yeah, let's better leave him alone there. Yeah, he just scared me. So, getting this guy into robot mode, what you wanna do is. You want to hold this cap section and you want to wiggle this thing down and wiggle it down here. And you want to keep wiggling, waggling until it's down enough. Yeah, this thing has a tendency to fall off because the connection is not that strong. So what I mostly like to do, I just break it off and just plug it back in the hole in this position. And I do the same thing on the other side. Wiggly, waggly. Break it off if you want to. You can do it, like, look, 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 you can do it without breaking it, but it's a bit harder to do. And the little moth is just trying to find some shadow from the light, or he's just looking for the light. <laughs> so you want something like that, like it's arms spread out, like, hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> then you want to rotate these forward, the shoulders, and then you want to rotate the shoulders once again. That This is where the difference comes in, in my design. You want to rotate it even further. This is the final position. In the original, it's just like this, and you don't just stick down. But in this way, the proportions work better. But what you, what that means is the smokestack position isn't accurate. Speaking of the smokestacks, you just want to collapse them, 
you want to get this roof pad fills in the shoulders a bit more get that down there we go you want to come to the back this is all the emptiness that we're going to fill up with the backpack piece and you want to get the head up rotate it 180 we'll take this thing around and get the little ears up there we go then i'm going to go to the back you know, sort of like a centaur that's pretty fun and we're going to go to the back oh, wait i uh, yeah, and we're gonna get this thing up, get the feet up, and then you're gonna split the legs. And now I'm gonna raise up the camera a bit. So once you have this guy standing up, you can get the arms forward again because they got out of the way, and you're gonna bring down these arms. Now, we're going to take our filler piece and rotate him around. You can see this part right here. I'm going to connect it right on there. You just want to... So it sits nicely in there, like that. And you want to compress that. There you go, that sits nice and flush, fills in the gap of the neck. And there's the back of him. There's the front. Oh, oh, he splits apart. Oh, shit. Sorry about the cursing. Whoops. <laughs> Stand him up. Give him his iconic gun. Let's see. This hand. There we go. Let's just get him in a nice pose. Oh, arm breaks off again. Come on, buddy. I know you can do it. You did it a hundred times before. Don't do it again when you're on camera. Don't do it when you're on camera. Please don't. Is that, that a good position? I'm not sure. Hmm. I believe it is. So there we have G1 Optimus Prime in his robot mode. So yeah, Optimus Prime, my favorite figure. Simply because it took me ages to build him. He has been through several incarnations and redesigns and tweaks and you name it, I did it. I mean... It is an accomplishment for me to build an Optimus Prime itself. Simply because I'm having trouble with the arms and thereby I was never able to figure out a good way on transforming him without making his proportions look odd. But this? Oh my god. Because this thing is so much bigger than the rest of the guys on my shelf, um, this thing actually works out because I can Im implement small hinges that makes a big change on this guy that that that's what why he's big to oh wait I've got a step I believe you can uh, by the way you can bring these down to fill in the gaps a bit more it gives a bit, a bit more bulky legs but that's actually for truck mode so you leave these up I believe I forget to put these down when it comes to transformation for truck mode but still this thing took me ages to build, and the latest addition is actually the backpack, like this filling piece, which makes a silhouette look even better. I mean, look at that. That looks like the silhouette of Optimus Prime. And I made it so the stripe around comes back around on the back. Oh, this is not sturdy. You can see the back is a bit nicer. You can see it tapers down a bit. Just creates a nice silhouette and tapers back too. Which creates a really, really cool silhouette. And again, the matrix is inside. I'm not going to show you because I already did. But yeah. So this was G1 Optimus Prime. And I'm Prime Guy. And I'll see you next time. Bye.